a moment ago, I tested Cloud Sonic 4 to build this fireworks animation in Swift UI using core animation emitter layers. You can find the animation in this GitHub repository. I will add a link to the description of the video. That is this file, Cloud Force Sonnet Swift UI Fireworks. So you can find a link to this in the description of the video. Let's go to Kesa. Over here, I added this simple prompt. First, I created a blank Swift file in Xcode. So I stated in this file, use Apple's core animation emitter layer to emit, animate, and render a realistic fireworks particle system for iOS using Swift UI. Over here, the model thought for about four seconds and gave this code. If I scroll down further, you have noticed here, it summarized everything it did to generate the Swift UI animation code. However, there was this error when I ran the animation in Xcode. So I copied the error to fix it here. Then it modified the code to generate another code. After running it again, there was still another error. So I copied the error again to fix it. And finally, it modified the code and generated a final output. So here we have a final version of the code. Core animation is not supported in Swift UI by default. So we import UI kit and create these functions to configure the emission particle for the parent emitter and the emitter cells. I will make another video explaining all these parameters. But for now, you can find a link to this code in the description of the video. So you can get it from GitHub, run it and test the code. So this is the same as the one we have in Xcode. So once you run it for the first time, you will see this instruction to tap anywhere on the screen to trigger the fireworks animation.